I am taking you guys along with me today and let's go shop for some hair care from the grocery store. I can't believe I just said that. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a hair video in quite some time and I actually had a request on one of my old videos about the best hair heat protectors of what I would recommend from the grocery store. And first of all, I wouldn't, but that's because I think being a hairstylist that you should support your hairstylist and buy products from them that they recommend or a salon in town that you go to just to give them business and help support them in that way and or a brand you really like to purchase directly from them because that kind of supports them also sometimes at grocery stores or random places the hair products that you see that are professional don't directly come from the source so sometimes there's a lot of people that will buy like from a random beauty supply that's going out of business like everything they have and then they'll resell that their products like on Amazon or other places so you can never really know exactly how long that product has been on the shelf since we don't have expiration dates on our products in the US you kind of don't know what you're getting that's why I like to purchase directly from either a beauty supply the source which is the company or like Sephora or Ulta those places are a little bit more reliable in my opinion I do tell my clients if they don't want to buy the products that I have to go to Sephora or Ulta because those are more likely to be non-expired products and like the real thing. There's also a word for it but I can't think of what the word is now but I'll post it somewhere but there's like literally a word for this so that's why I don't recommend things from like the grocery store or Amazon or random places but I do understand that not everybody has the luxury of buying products from Ulta Sephora or a salon because they do get really pricey so I'm going to go to the grocery store for you and tell you guys what I would recommend hair care wise I'm not gonna do just heat protection I'm gonna do shampoo conditioner any other brands that I see so today I'm going to go to Target because I feel like Target a lot of people have like a wide variety of professional and then they have a lot of like off-brand stuff so honestly I just like haven't been down the hair care aisle at Target and I don't know how long so we're gonna do it today and I'll tell you what I recommend and then also like I'm gonna go to just like the random grocery store down the street and see what they have and I'm honestly like I don't think they're gonna really have anything that I would recommend but maybe we'll be surprised maybe Maybe we'll find something, so. Shea Moisture is probably the only brand I would recommend if we're comparing Swab, Herbalescence, Pantene, all of those. It's really good, and for certain types of hair, it's even better. Kristen S brand is okay. I haven't heard the greatest thing. Pantene is definitely the worst. Do not ever use this. You will get buildup on your hair, and it will ruin your color, even if it says color safe. This is another brand I've heard bad things about lately, so I definitely would pass on that more nose over here all these brands like ozzy just are gonna leave a lot of buildup on your hair herbal essence is another one it's just not good quality i would also pass on dove definitely no tresemme either just they smell really bad and they just have a lot of ingredients that aren't good for your hair a lot of metallic salts and things that can have a reaction if you do color your hair um here we go on some that i would approve nexus i don't know too much about so this is like maybe there's also a lot of brands i'm not familiar with but here we go down here on the shelf is a winner it's a 10 definitely love for heat protection and all their products kenra sebastian these are more yeses you definitely can use these if you see these shimmer lights is also an okay purple shampoo like I said there's a lot of brands that are newer that I don't know too much about but in my opinion they're really not that great this um, memory I think it's called or something and this Odell it has pretty packaging but again I just don't know Monday actually I've heard okay things about this but honestly my clients that have used it their ends have looked a little dry dry and crispy so i'm not too sure it's a 10 has the best heat protection and will also smooth your hair and get rid of frizz okay 
kind of surprised at the lack of professional hair care at Target. Overall, the only... Let me lock my doors because, like, you never know. The only heat protector that I would recommend from Target grocery store, Target, is the... It's a 10 because it does, like, 10 different things. It's a leave-in. It helps with moisture and nourishes your ends. And then it's a heat protector. helps with frizz, blah, blah, blah. There's, like, 10 different things it does. Also, it is so hot. It's, like, feels like 100 degrees in my car. I'm gonna start sweating at any moment besides that like uh, yeah i don't know maybe it's because now ulta is in target so like if you can spend a little more and get something inside ulta in target like that would be a little bit better but yeah overall i'm just i'm kind of shocked but yeah it's a 10 would be good heat and then there's a few shampoo and conditioner the kenra um, hairspray, the Sebastian hairspray, they used to have that in shampoo and conditioner, which I would recommend. So if your Target has, like, Sebastian or Kenra, then yeah, I would recommend. Also, Swartz Cough, this is the Got To Be Glue. It's a professional line. They have hair care and color. I got this glued for not my hair, but my eyebrows. We're gonna try that out. But yeah, next up is the grocery store. I don't have a good feeling about the grocery store since Target was lacking, but let's try. Paul Mitchell and Wella, I definitely would recommend for color treated hair. Suave is a no. Let's just keep going. This brand is good for men. Here's some, it's a 10. Paul Mitchell living proof is okay. Honestly, I don't like it that much more. It's a 10 and Sebastian. We're doing good so far. These brands are all a no. Literally, see that? It's a 10 down there. Yes, suave. All this? No, 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 no. It's gonna leave your hair feeling really oily on your scalp, but your ends are just gonna feel really dry dry and gross especially if you have color treated hair or highlights it's just definitely definitely a big no like i said before shea moisture is probably the only one that i would recommend out of all these here we go another winner for heat protection it's a 10 detangler leave-in all of that it's all great i haven't seen really any other heat protectors in any other brands so it's a 10 is it and that's all to Starbucks because like that was hard work let's be real so as you can see my grocery store did not have as many options of hair care it was kind of like empty it seemed like but there definitely was it's a 10 so I would recommend for heat protection it's a 10 it seems like that's universally at all of the grocery stores hairspray wise the Kenra or the Sebastian is pretty good. Chi is not my favorite. It's professional, but in my opinion, it's really low quality and stinks really bad. Shampoo and conditioner wise, I feel like usually Paul Mitchell and Biolage are at the grocery store and they have like a color formula. That grocery store had the tea tree one, which is okay. Might not be the best for hair color, but as you can see, there's no like full lines really at the grocery store unless it's like Suave, which I do not recommend. Suave, Pantene, Herbalescence, basically any of that. Like Shea Moisture is like maybe the only one I would maybe recommend but overall when you're shopping at the grocery store for hair care you want to look for brands that are a little bit more professional brands that you hear of more definitely heat wise it's a 10 or Sebastian I used to see Sebastian at the grocery store but not anymore maybe they're stopping that a lot of professional lines don't like their products to be sold at the grocery store that's why you really don't see the full line because they get it from somewhere else but yeah basically overall just look for more professional honestly if you have to try to do amazon if your grocery stores don't have anything but look for look through the reviews and try to find reviews that say that it's legit and it's not false i really don't like to recommend amazon because like i said i like to shop at other places and keep things like 
going and keep things in business and Amazon shuts down a lot of business but it is what it is if you have to try to find something cheaper I would look for brands on there so I hope this was helpful and thanks again for the comment on one of my last videos to give me the idea for this video if you have any questions on hair care certain brands or lines leave me a comment down below and let me know as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time